All righty. We're at three minutes past the hour. Um, let's start. Welcome, everybody, to the Qbert Community Meeting. It is the 21st of June. Um, we're rocketing up to the halfway part of the year. Everyone's had a lovely week. Um, let's get started. Do we have anyone today that is new or has, maybe not new, but hasn't introduced themselves before? Um, now's our chance to say, hey, how's it going? So please pipe up or use the raise hand function of Zoom. I'll take that as a no. In which case, uh, we'll move on to the schedule check-in and I've got this here. Um, Stu. Sure thing. So I believe you were out last week. The feature freeze did happen. Uh, our original plan was to have it on June 6th. Uh, due to uh, interactions with a bug in Kubernetes, we as a group chose to postpone that by a week and the feature freeze did happen on the 13th. We did cut um, the branch at that time. And so I think we're on track of looking ahead at the schedule. We've got release candidate 01 and GA uh, in the next uh, weeks. I don't foresee any problems meeting those. As far as I know, there's not any uh, major bugs that would uh, disrupt that schedule at this time. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, I, I'll soon need to be getting onto top of the, um, actually, so, would we now be able to start going through release notes if once we've had a feature freeze, we've now got time to be able to just kind of sort through and um, categorize and amend any of them? Is that... I think that's a fair thing because you're absolutely right. At this point, a feature freeze literally means those words. We're not adding new features at this point. So <laughs> anything that is counted as a feature, we should be able to uh, go back and double check our release notes. All righty, thank you. Well, in that case, I'll probably send something out to the mailing list saying, hey, if anyone wants to help out with here, I uh, probably need some help. Um, only thing that we have on the agenda at this point is uh, for me, just saying that, uh, yeah, we had DevConf this past, uh, over the weekend. Uh, it was really great to see so many people from the Qbert community. As far as I am aware, it's the largest grouping of Qbert people in the one spot since the pandemic. Um, it was really nice to meet a whole bunch of new people and to see some people that I've met uh, in briefly at past KubeCons. Um, and especially thanks to everyone who helped out and talked to people who were at the booth. Um, there's nothing else on the agenda or the open floor, so we'll move on. But um, if anything does spring to mind, please throw it into one of those two places or wherever you want. Um, I looked through the pull requests. I could not see anything. What I saw was a lot of do not merge and little green LGTM and approves. So thank you very much for everyone for staying on top of that. There was one thing on the mailing list, which it, it does have some comments, but I did want to um, uh, yep, um, highlight here, just in case anyone had missed it, um, Qvert Network Binding Plugin. There's a link to the thread, and in that is a Google Doc. Um, so please have a look at that. Um, and if Ed's here and he wants to say anything about it, Good. In which case, uh, there was, um, I saw a lot of bugs opened by Lee uh, Wood, but they were all to do with instant types. So I presume he's raising them as a matter of process and he doesn't actually need them called out because he and presumably Felix are, will be working on them. Um, as Felix, you look like you're here to say that that's correct that we don't need to, we don't need to call out any of those. Bugs? I think you're unmuted, but I can't hear you. All right. Um, I'm going to presume that I understood correctly. In which case, we've only got one bug. Um, this one up here.
run strategies manual and V and stopping a snapshot always fails a timeout. So this sounds like it's an issue on the storage side, in which case, is there anyone from, I'm actually not entirely sure where this falls because the, the run strategy I think is compute, but it's talking about um, storage issue. Um, so if anyone from either of those two SIGs is able to weigh in on this, If you want to, uh, this is M. Henricks. If you want to tag me, you can, I'll uh, try to look later. Perfect. Thank you very much. Nice to hear your voice again. That brings us to the end of what we have here. No one's added anything in the agenda or the open floor. Um, does anyone have anything that they would like to add? I can add something. Uh, right now, I'm working on implementing a uh, CSI driver based on camera storage daemon, and I'm fighting with the read write many support. I'll just uh, put a link here to mail list. Right here. I think that someone might be interesting to read about uh, implementation and if someone would have an ideas, please feel free to contact me. Wonderful. Oh, and a little bit of context. Perfect. Thank you. Does anyone else have anything else since we're, we've got plenty of time before us? In that case, um, oh, actually there was something I wanted to, to call out. Um, I noticed that it's merged, but I did want to thank Daniel Hiller for sending out a PR about the um, the Flake Finder and the Proud documentation. Um, I know that was uh, something that came up at the project meeting in uh, KubeCon in, what was it, April? Um, and so thank you very much for jumping on that and everyone who approved and, and got it merged. So without any further ado, unless anyone has anything that they would like to end, uh, add, like to add, uh, we will end this meeting. Um, so I'll do a little countdown. Three, two, one. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, thank you very much for weighing in on this stuff. And hope you have a lovely week. And we'll see you next week. See you all. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Bye-bye.